Hello, everybody. How are you today? Hey, I've been out of town for a little bit, and today I am doing some of my fall cleanup, you know, like raking leaves and getting things winterized because winter is coming. I want to talk to you about a few things. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My channel is about Twin Flame Ascension, Twin Flames, Soulmates, Healing, Purging, Ascension Symptoms, I know it inside out. So welcome. Don't let the negativity you see out there discourage you, okay? A lot of people are really discouraged anyway because they've been at it for a long time. I honestly don't know what people have been at it with. It could be tarot. It could be astrology. It could be like just milling about being a lurker and just, you know, trying to see what everyone has to say about this. Enough already. Time to be proactive. If you've been lurking around for 10 years, it's time because this ascension isn't stopping. There is a soul priority level event that you're a part of. And now, while there may have been delays that you perceive, these are not really delays. These are like phases where things are being phased out and phased in. Find out more in my webinars about this. Today, I want to let you know that here, it's time for some gratitude. And I am having a very special full moon event where we are going to cover topics of introspection, what you want your next year to look like. Because even though it is not the end of the year, you have to start now. That's how spirit starts. Spirit starts laying the foundation and laying the groundwork ahead of time, making it easier to step into or manifest the things that you want. Now, if you've already had a little bit of manifesting, what you'll find is the expectations have been raised. The bar is being raised on you. This is a whole body thing, and it is a two-person thing. A lot of people like to backpedal on that and go backwards and say like, well, if that other person isn't doing it, I'm out. I'm not doing it. I call BS on that because you're still having body symptoms, like it or not. And most people don't like it. You want to get to the good stuff. How are you going to work? So there is sort of this en masse feeling that people want to just kind of quit and, you know, not follow through. I know this because people write it on the comments. Stop emotionally dumping in the comments. I'm not going to respond to it, okay? If you're yelling in the comments and you're just, you know, plotting and, and vomiting all your stuff, like who the hell wants that? It's like going around like a two-year-old with a roll of toilet paper to wipe up because they're like splattering all over the place. Enough already. A lot of us are up to here. A lot of us that have rolled up our sleeves and really been put through the ringer. I'm here to make this easier for you. I'm here to make it economical too, which is one of the things I want to let you know about. I have created a sliding scale and... I am forming a nonprofit corporation because I get a lot of questions from people saying, oh, hey, Patricia, will my insurance cover this? You know, insurance doesn't cover acupuncture. They barely cover chiropractic. The only way we're going to get any action is by having the empirical data that my modality works. You're a part of that. I need to make a living, and I am the sole support of my son, and while I hate to play the single mom card, the truth is I am a single parent. And that's a lot of you out there. I won't say that I was exactly left. It was a mutual decision. But a lot of people have abandoned, you know, their responsibilities because they're so spiritual. That's not being spiritual. Being spiritual means being strong enough to rise up to the conflict, being strong enough to rise up to those feelings when you're fed up and really knowing what is the right thing to do. Is it the right thing to persevere or is it the right thing to surrender? That takes a lot of discernment to really recognize what do you to surrender to and what do you push forward on? Okay, imagine if Martin Luther King never pushed on something. He paid for it. He paid for it with the ultimate price and God bless him for doing what he did. But, you know, that's the emotion that is sometimes needed to actually get change done. 
Now, I'm seeing a lot of slipping and sliding because now that people consider the pandemic to be over, they just want it to be over. I get that. I understand it. I'm fed up with the, you know, push pull of, you know, you're locked in and now you're free and now you're locked in. Okay. That should make you in and of itself value your life. That should make it in and of itself value nature and health. And what I'm seeing is people just want to go back to bars and go back to smoking and pretend like life is as it was. Hell no, it's not. Okay. Time to get with the program because Ascension is here. And if you want to participate, I would greatly appreciate the support. If you don't join, please donate because your donation goes to help destitute people. And I have some stories about that. It's stories about people living in their cars, losing everything, still working on their ascension. So there's no excuse. I have an event coming up where we are going to use the full moon energy for introspection, for your life. Let this energy improve your life. Get deep. Gratitude, because we have Thanksgiving coming up. And we will do some body work. And we are going to make wishes. I do these at different levels. These are a part of a larger version of what I call grid work. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you just want something different that gets results, gets you feeling what this is supposed to feel like, like what is an ascension supposed to feel like? It's supposed to feel good. I get myself into a mode of feeling good any and every day. On any given day, any given Sunday, when the odds are against you because of the football game, it's on, okay? The future doesn't kill you, but the past will. So if you keep repeating the past, if you keep looking in other places for answers, they're not there because we are leaving the old paradigm. I can't say that enough. Structures are falling apart, but there is a lot of restructuring and new foundations being built. Now, it may sound like I'm being bossy, and yeah, it's time to kick some butt into those modes where being in love means that you are enveloped in 5D love. That's what being in love means. Union means unification. So I need to be clear about that because people have been defining it in really old ways, okay? I'm unified, but I'm not living with my twin. Other people are living with someone who's a soulmate and calling it union. That's their prerogative, I suppose, but that doesn't mean it's accurate, okay? I'll tell you how you know. It's in the things that they don't talk about. They never talk about the metaphysics for the most part. They can't get deeper. You see, that's one of the things about 4D. You could get a little deep with a soulmate, but only so far. You can only merge with the etheric body of the true person, and that begins ahead of time. So regardless of who you've been, where you've been, what you've done, this is time for your fresh start. Let's start before the year ends and I hope you join. Look for the links below. I'm, I will have this at two times. I have uh, something like a donation version of the ticketing which is called pay what you feel. Okay, Pay what you feel you can pay Pay what you feel is reasonable. I'm going to ask one more thing, okay? Be kind, okay? Be kind to each other. Give each other latitude. There is a sense and sensibility to this whole twin flame ascension. What that means is it's going in waves. What, that's because we can't let the whole world implode. We saw what it was like when things ground to a halt last year. But there are some people who never got a break and they're feeling it. They're feeling stressed to the max. Let us show some gratitude for them. Show gratitude for the people at the post office, the healthcare workers. I know you know the drill, but there are people that, you know, they're not in healthcare and yet they've still been working to help and help keep the gears of society going. And you know, this is an opportunity for big change and transformation. So I hope you'll join me. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe and hope to see you there.
Bye now.